I think your bra strap is undone, Matt. <laughs> Bird straight ahead. Can I see him? No, I don't. <laughs> I see grass. How about on the fence? Oh! <laughs> Kaka! Why don't you respond to, respond to my bird call? Damn, they don't care at all. They're gonna bite us! These are huge! Over here on the west coast of California, up north, Mendocino, one of the prime abalone spots in California. And uh, up here you're allowed 18 abalone, all have to be at least seven inches. Certain restrictions, time is of the essence, Sarah says, so we've got to get going before the tide rises while it still stays calm. Okay, your ab bar tight? Huh? Got your ab bar tight? The limit already, all in 10 minutes only. Woo! Bye. Look at that. Bye. This is a seven inch, uh, seven inch caliper. So this is at least, shoot, eight and a half, nine? Eight and a half, nine, right offshore. All right, now we'll go practice snorkeling a little bit. No drowning today. God, I love snorkeling, it's so fun. Especially using the snorkel and going down and knowing how what to do. Just what a little bit of research will do. Am I a little too close to the camera? All right, so there are certain rules when you're going abalone diving that you all should know. And do the research on there. There's regulations and people enforce them in these abalone picking places pretty heavily because there's a lot of poachers, you know? People could sell these abalone for like 300 bucks on the black market. Don't do it, of course, but I'm just saying. Know your regulations, because they will fine you if they get you doing something illegal. There's a lot of different regulations, like if you find one and you pick it off, if it's a legal size, you have to take it. Or if you find an undersized one and you pick it off, you should put it back to the same rock. Uh, and a lot of people don't know that you don't necessarily have to go out and dive deep for abalone. Like, as you can see, I forgot the GoPro. Ah, damn, that would have been so nice. I saw some nice fish under there. Ooh, uh, all right. I think I'm, I've overcome my last experience. Now I know how to use the snorkel more. I'm gonna be out here more for sure. Oh my God. Oh, that was so fun. I love it. Just floating out in the water like that. Oh my God, I didn't, I've never experienced anything like it. It's so cool. But anyway, like you saw us doing just now, you don't even need to go dive deep. If you can find a spot that's really rocky and that has kelp, because that's what the abalone feed on, is the kelp, you don't even need to dive deep. You can just go at a low tide and pick them off the rocks. And as you can see, the ones that we got, they were like eight to nine inches. And I think the biggest one that's ever been caught was 13 inches, but seven is the legal size. And as they grow seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, the meat increases exponentially. So I think we got some nines probably. We'll measure them a little bit closer. Um, but we picked them all and we got to tag them now because that's one of the other regulations. One of the, uh, <coughs> one of the other rules. But yeah, whew. Six abalone, there's so many out there. Oh my goodness. There's so many abalone out there. What a great day. Picked them all in 10 minutes. That's so fun. I'm really looking forward to posting more underwater videos soon. Woo! Back at it. We'll be out here again, picking abalone, bring out TJ, he's been diving for life. 
Me and Sarah's second time only. It was fun and easy. In and out in 10 minutes. Can't beat it!